All right. Hello, everyone. It's Justin Parnell, joined by my friend Ashlyn Rose for the Star Trek Games Zendikar Rising pre-release party, brought to you by, uh, sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. So, Ashlyn, um, before we get started, we have these brand new, super duper sweet set boosters. Yes, we do. Sorry. I, I have not opened one of these yet. I haven't either, actually. But I, but I want to. Yes. All right. Who wants to go first? You want to go for you want you want to open your booster first? How about we do it at the same time? Okay, all right, all right, we'll do it at the same time. Oh, music to my ears. I know. Oh, all right. My art card is Omnath. Yours, Ooh. I don't know what yours is. This I don't one is this, one, this one's an easy one to figure out. I think the name is probably on the back. Yes. Yeah, focus of creation. Yeah, that's Omnath. Mine is Highborn Vampire by Dinman Roop. Nice, nice. Okay, I have a non-foil mountain. Who did the art for that Omnath again? Omnath, uh, Chris Ron. Chris Ron, of course. Yeah. And I have the beautiful island. Mm -hmm. Sam, Sam Burley Mountain. All right, so then after this, I think we have some commons and uncommons. Mine's the Adam Pet. Yep. So nothing, nothing too crazy here. All right, so after, so we have six commons and uncommons. So after those, we get our, uh, I, I think it's a double face card slot. And I think it can be a showcase frame. That's a good one. Ooh. Okay, so that's, that's your double sided card, right? Yes. Okay, that one's, this is mine. Tangled Floral. And then we have, it could be, these could be any two rarities after. Nice. So I have Kazul's a, Fury. Okay. I have a Skyclid's Squid Scave and then a Cargan Warlord. So oh, after, are you in your rear? No, there's, so there's two that could be anything. So this one, so that's your second one that could be anything. And then after this is our rare. Okay. After your acquisitions experts are rare. All right. All right. Ready? Yes, my my rare is a black card. As you, oh, get. you had so much more restraint than I did. I did. You did I, so I, much more. You're just like I'm like, yeah, let's get to it. I have, you ripped it like a band aid. I did. Way, I have a wayward guide beast. All right. Well, since, nice. you, since you keep you're keeping us all in such suspense. Okay, you have I, a black card. It is a creature. Right? Best color in magic. Hopefully, it's a drana. That's what I'm hoping for. Ooh. Let's see. Is it a Drana? Oh my gosh. You're going for the top oh. of the Oh my gosh. No Priest of Oblivion. And I think no that is my, of Oblivion. my favorite card in the entire set. I really like the art. It gives me some like um, Warhammer vibes for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, it, especially definitely with the, like, the big like thing in the background. Oh yeah. Yeah. Give me some Nurgle vibes. All right. The next thing, I just again ripped my Band-Aid off. The foil is the next <laughs> slot. I got a synchronized Spellcraft. Ooh. All right, let's see. For my foil, it's a green card. Okay. okay. It is a spell, possibly, or an enchantment. <laughs> this is. Oh <laughs> I, I do God. I do these all the this time on my screen. Killing me so bad. Uh, it costs three to cast. Ready? <laughs> Broken wings. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. So the next, so the last card can either be a token, an add, or a the list card. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to rip mine off. Okay, I got a okay. core warrior token. Okay, I think mine's a token as well. We'll just rip. Ooh, it's a construct. A construct. Nice. A cute little construct. Okay. All right, excellent. Nice. That was our set booster. Fun little pack. Excellent. We got. If we have time, we may open another one, but we'll see. I'm seems, so down for opening packs. It, seem, it seems like people's games are going a little, little on the slow side. Okay. All right. I have a die. Do you want to call it even or odd to see who goes first? Sure, I'll call it even. Okay. Five. Odd. Uh, I am going to... I'm going to be on the draw. All right, I'm going to let you be on the play. Good luck and have fun. You as well. All right. Got my set. How's everyone's pre-releases going? 
in chat if you are. And this is both of our first games, right? We haven't, yeah. I know I haven't played ones. This is your first one also? Excellent. Yes, I haven't played at all yet. Oh my gosh, this hand is so greedy, but it has some of the best cards in my deck in it. So I feel like I have to keep But I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll wait to tell you I'm going to keep until after you tell me. Oh, sounds good. I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to keep, but I'll tell oh, okay. you <laughs> formally afterward. I was trying to act like I didn't know. It's okay, when neither of us know, I don't even know. Seven. All right, Let's see what we've got here. Okay, well, that's a lot of lands and one card, so I am not going to keep. I'm on the draw. I specifically picked the draw so I could have an extra card. Mm. You know what? I'm going to keep. The hand's too good. You other are? Than, okay. Other than only having a couple of lands, but you know what? I have a couple of things that could turn into lands, so hopefully we'll just draw one of those. Ooh. I do like the modal lands. Modal, model, module? I think it's modal, double-faced. They call it MDFC. MDFC. So, yeah, that's the that's the official name for the mechanic. All right. Try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I almost dealt myself a commander hand. You get a seven. You get a seven. Oh, you that's right. Oh, my gosh. The, the London ball again. It has been so long since I played a uh, pa paper <laughs> paper magic cards. Yes. Oh, and I just showed the world by hand. Enjoy that. Um, let's see. Do I want to keep this hand? Um. Hmm. 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 Okay. Um. I feel like this is something I can work with. Yeah, we can work with this. Okay, I'll keep it. And then I will put one on the bottom. What do I want to put on the bottom is the question. Let's put... These are all such good cards. That's the problem. See, that's I... this is why I just kept my hand, because I'm like, oh, there's so many good cards in it. Surely I'll draw lands. Yeah, I guess with the other hand, I could have put one of the five islands in the bottom. I guess I wouldn't put any on the bottom then. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's put... You on the bottom. Alright! You're up and first. I'm on the play. Yes. Cool. I will... Play a... Forest. Tap that for us and play Reclaim the Waste. So that search for a basic land and you put it yep. in your hand? That sure yeah. is. Down. I will get myself. Do I have to reveal the land? I'm sure I do. You, you do. Yeah. I look at an island, put that into my hand, and pass turn. All right. I will draw. All right. I'm going to play an island and I will pass the turn. It's a nice island you got there. Thank you very much. I want to go back, since we're, you know, full art is always associated with Zendikar, but I want to go back to the, the OG, OG full art. Of course. Untap and draw. Okay, I will play an island, and then I will... Pass turn. Okay. There. I will draw. I'm going to play another island, and then I will also pass the turn. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, end of your turn. Okay. I will tap, and I will deliberate. Ooh, so that's just like preordain, just instant speed, right? Yes. Uh, scry two, then draw a card. Love that. Does that resolve? That's good, yeah. That's good. Right, so one... Two. Ooh, interesting. I think I'm going to... Hmm. My favorite thing about this card is if you're like, you're like, I don't know what to do. I really want both of these. Since you do it, you often do it at end of turn. You're just like, I'll just keep both. Then draw yeah. one out and draw one on my turn. That's actually true. Um, let me take another look at my hand here, though. Okay. 
I am honestly going to bottom both. Ooh. Dig a little deeper. And draw my card for that. All right. I will untap and draw. I will play an island. And then I will do, do, do. What will I do? That could be anything. <laughs> I will... I will play a gnarled colony. Okay, so that's just a 2-2 two -two with no kicker, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Does that resolve? No, it resolves. It resolves. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> you never fair. know with blue. So. That's fair. You know what? That's <laughs> fair. Uh, and I will pass turn. All right, I will draw. Play a forest. We have a little Simic Mirror map. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to play a Lull Mage's Familiar. It's a 2-4. I can tap it to add a blue or green. And then whenever I cast a kick spell, I draw, uh, excuse me, I gain two. And I'm done after that. All right. Uh, and I, no I'm sorry, what was the power and toughness of that again? It is a 2-4. Two 2-4. Four. Two four. Okay, great. Good, so. good for blocking your 2-2. Two two. Yeah, that's not cool. Okay, that's cool, though. I will uh, do, do, do. Play an island. One, two, three, four. I'll play a Canopy Bailoff with the Fancy Frame. Uh, it has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That's a four, three. Yes. All right. That yes, resolves. I don't have a force. I don't have, yes. I have no force of will. And you were tapped out. All right. Uh, oh, wait. No, you're familiar taps, right? Oh, but it's... it's... I, c I cannot tap it, though. It's yeah. so fitness. Uh, and I will... It's a two, four, right? Two four expert blocker. Yes, it is. All right, I will pass turn. Untap and. All right, very excited for what I just drew. I'm going to play a roost of drakes with kicker. So roost of drakes one. I'm going to gain two life, so I'm going to go to twenty two from low mage familiar. And roost of drakes says when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create a two two. Blue Drake with flying, which I will do. Oh. And then whenever I cast a kick spell, I make another blue 2-2 two, two blue Drake with flying. So I am okay. done. Lovely. And how big is the Drake? It's a two-two. Oh, it's an enchantment. Sorry, the rooster this, drake. Yeah, this is this is just an enchantment, and then it makes a two-two drake. Okay, cool. Um, okay, I will. Play a land, mm -hmm. triggering landfall on my canopy bail off. It's a six-five. Yes. Which is a six-five. And then I will move to combat. And I will swing in with both my friends here. Okay. I'm going to, with my 2 2 Drake, I'm going to block your 2 2 Gnarled pack. Sounds so I'll, good. I'll take six and go to uh, 16. I will be happy with that. Hmm. And then I will. One, two, three. I will play a glass bull mimic. Um, oh no! And when it enters the battlefield, I will copy a creature I control. 
except it's a rogue in addition to other types, and I will have it copy my canopy Bayloth. So you have a beast shapeshifter rogue? Yes. With landfall. Got it. Yes. And I will pass turn. Okay. Untap. Hmm. So the difference between these two is this one's wearing like a rogue mask. Okay. But it looks like a bait Bayloth still, so just picture that in your head. Okay. So it's basically the Bayloth, but it just got a like a robe over it, like covering like maybe like a like a ten percent of its face. Yes, yes. Okay, exactly. perfect. That makes sense. And it checks right. for traps. I am going to play the best looking card, not only in my deck. But in the entire set, which is a foil showcase frame Lotus Cobra. Ooh, can you bring that to camera? I want to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going to take it out of the sleeve so you can see it. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, I bet that was nice to open. Oh, very much so. <laughs> okay. And then I am going to play an island and I'm going to make a green mana with Lotus Cobra. And then I'm going to play. Tajuru Blight Blade, which is just a 1-1 one, one rogue with death touch. I don't like that. And then I am going to pass the turn. Hmm, okay. Okay. And on top. Yep. Uh... <laughs> How can we do that? You have two landfall creatures. I know. <laughs> and you have three blockers. And one of them has death touch. One death of them touch has is death not touch. fun. It's just a little eensy weensy one one though. <laughs> uh okay. Onto that uphill tapped. I have one, two, three, four, five mana. Um he's situated here. Hmm. How many cards in hand do you have? I have four. Four, okay. Four cards. Mm, and you have mana untapped. Interesting. We do. Okay. They do have a 4 3. And the Cobra is a 2 1. 2 1. Cobra is a 2 1. Familiar is a 2 3. 2 4. Familiar is a 2 4. And then the Blade Blight is a 1 1. We're not worried about the Blade Blight at this well, moment. We're not worried about <laughs> the Blade Blight. Just not at this moment. Um, just. Moderately worried about the uh, other two. So what I think I'm going to do for now is... We're going to do some damage control and not get excited yet. I thought Let's... I was the one doing damage control. You're the, one, <laughs> you're the one that's doing the damage. I need to do the damage control. Uh, let's go with... Hmm, one... How much does that cost? So that's... One more mana. One, two, three. See, this is the inner dialogue that I should keep in my head so you don't know my plan, but you know, why not just I you know I'm the evil person who like tells you my plan out loud. Yeah. You're mo you're mo you're monologuing before I your am. big your big scheme. Yeah. I am. <laughs> to be fair, everyone always needs one more mana, so it's not like <laughs> I could I could also use exactly one more mana. And then when yeah. I have that, I will also need one more mana after that. <laughs> it's true. Um. Okay. How do I want to do this? Okay. Uh, did you do? One, two, three. We're going to. I'm going to. I'm going to glacial grasp your shaman. Is it a shaman? The death the, toucher. The blade blight. Okay. So yes. it taps it, and it does not untap. It will not tap next turn, and you mill two cards, and I will draw a card. Island, island. 
Ooh, there's those uh, next two there's, lands you need. There's lands I needed, I know. Alright. And uh, I will go... I will go to combat. Okay. Um, how do I want to do that? Hmm. What are the odds you will block? Only one way to two. find out. Yeah, you have a 2-1 and a 2-3. 2-4. 2-4. 2-4. Which, which is a very big difference than a 2-3 yes. here. <laughs> it's true. Um, uh, let's go with... Where did you was interesting. All right, I'm going to see... Yeah, let's see what you do. I'm going to swing with my glass pool mimic. I'll swing with both. Why not both? Swing with both. I didn't want you to do that, though, so... I, against my better judgment, I'm going to not block, and I'm going to take eight and go to eight, unless you have other effects. I do not. Okay, I'll take eight, go to eight. All right, I will uh, pass turn. All right, this does not untap. Yes. Okay, we'll draw a card. Okay. I am going to play into the royal. Ooh. And I'm going to target my Tajuru Blade Blight. Oh, okay. So when I cast a spell with Kicker, I get a 2 2 Drake and I gain two life. So I'll go to 10, get a 2 2 Drake. Then I'm going to return this and draw a card. Uh, then I'm going to play an island, which is going to trigger Lotus Cobra. I'm going to make a green. I'm going to play the blade bite, the blade blight, the blight blade. This I'm going to play this thing. You say that three times fast. Yeah, I could. I couldn't say it one time slow. <laughs> so. I'm going to play this thing, and. I think I've I think I've had how many cards do you have in your hand? I have three. Three? Okay. Really need to preserve my life total. Do you? <laughs> I, it's I, think, a I think I do. <laughs> okay. It's, it's half of yours. It's half of your <laughs> life total. All right. I'm gonna play Rabid Bite. And I'm gonna Ooh. have target creature deal its power to a creature I don't control. I'm gonna choose my blight blade and deal it to your uh, your mimic. My mimic, you got yeah. it. The ballast with the tiny little hood on it. Okie dokie. And I'm going to attack for two with Lotus Cobra. Sounds good. I will go to 18. All right. Got her. Go ahead. I will untap and draw. Okay. And what is your life total currently? 10. 10. <laughs> that is awfully high for you to be asking that question. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're at uh, yeah. uh, 10, okay. <laughs> Counting her, count on her fingers. <laughs> That's one hand's worth of life. Cool. Uh, okay, how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Still five. Okay, just checking. <sighs> okay, so I could do... Oh, okay. And you have two blockers. I do have two blockers. Two blockers. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, one of them is death touch. Yes, that is a thing. One of them does have death touch. That is definitely true. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do here is just... One, two... One, two, three. And I am going to play Merfolk Falconeer. Uh, it has flying, and whenever you cast a kick spell, I can scry two. It is a four, four. Nice. Okay. Um, and then I think that's all I'll do for turn. Done? Yep, go for it. All right. Going to draw... Okay. Or hmm. 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to tap six. And I'm going to play Cunning Geyser Mage with Kicker. Ooh, that's no. Uh, and Cunning Geyser... So I'm going to gain two life, go to 12. I'm going to make a 2-2 two -two Drake. This is going to be my my Drakes that have summoning sickness. And I'm going to... Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if it was Kicker, turn up to one target creature to its under's hand. I'm going to get your Geyser Mage. No, you're... That's my... I have the Geyser Mage. Your blue Ooh. thing. Your blue thing. You, my Marvel fa Falconer, will go that, to my hand. That's the one. And now that the skies are clear, I'm going to attack you for two with my Drake. No. Okay, I will take two, going to 16. All right, then I'm done. Right, let's see. I will untap. Draw. Um... Cunning. Okay, yeah, I know what that is. I will then. Okay, we want to play that game. I will. Uh... Play that. What, what game are we playing? <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to live over here. Game of magic. If you want to play that game where you don't die. <laughs> um, I will. Hmm, what do we want to? I don't want to get rid of that because that's just annoying. <sighs> hmm. And what is also annoying is great. Okay, I will. I keep tapping that. And I could actually use this. So I will one, two. Three and play a Lil Mage familiar, but mine's oh, shiny. I'm familiar with it. Oh, you have the shiny one. Okay, got a one up me, obviously. Yeah. And then I have two mana left. And with that two mana, I will. Hmm. Do I want to use it? No. I will pass. Turn. pass turn. Yep. Untap. I have two two drakes. Draw. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I am going to. Go to combat and I'm going to attack with my two drakes in the air and my death touch creature on the ground. Okay. Death touch creature on the ground? Yep. And you said the thing in the air. Two drakes. Two drakes so, in the so, air. So five damage coming at you. Five damage. I'm at 16. I'll take. I'll go to 11. Okay. Okay. During my second main phase, I'm going to play this Tangled Florahedron as a Tangled Veil tapped. Mm. Uh, and then I'm going to get a Landfall trigger. I'll make a green. And then I'm going to play uh, Skyclave Sentinel with Kicker. So I'm going to gain two life, go to 12, or go to 14. I'm going to get a Drake, and it's going to enter the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. So whenever it Ooh. has a plus one plus one counter on it, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Fun. All right, I'm done. Okay. Um, I am going to end of your turn. Oh. I will into the royal. Your Drake. The this one. No, whichever one came with the counters. Oh, the gargoyle. Sorry. Yes, the this gargoyle. One? Okay. It is back into my hand. Okay. You gain two life now. Oh, wait. Um, it it was not hit. Yes. Okay. But I can if you want me to. No, 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 no. I okay. don't want you to. I've worked really okay. hard to get you down to 11. Okay. Just wanted to let you know it was on the table. Okay. I appreciate the offer. Yeah, okay. So cool. kind. <laughs> I try. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Uh-huh. 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 
Oh, I have more mana now. I have six mana. You, you have that one more mana. You've been number. <laughs> okay. To do your evil plan. And that death touch thing is gone. Yes. It's tap. Okay. It's not gone. I mean, it's it's it might as well be right now. <laughs> okay. uh, I made a terrible uh, mistake. You did. What's your life at? A 12. 12. Okay. I have three blockers. This is a Drake. Okay. Um. So you have a 2-2 two -two right now and a 3-2? Two? Two, 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 2 Flying Drake, 3-2 Human Wizard, 2-1 two, one Snake. 1-1 one Snake. 2-1 Snake. Okay. <sighs> Do I have enough to kill you? Let's... To kill me? <laughs> Um, let's see if what I can do, I can do. Close. Um. Well, close um, isn't dead, so that's good. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, okay. And you might still have a blocker, which is unfortunate. So, here's what we'll do. Um, have that enchanted problem. So the Drake's a flyer, right? Drake is a flyer. Okay. Thanks for answering all my questions, by the way. Sorry for all of the questions. It's okay. No, I, I don't, I, I've, you know, no, we don't know all the cards yet. Um, let's go with a one, two, three. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can only do one or the other. Okay. Evil plan is going to have to wait another turn. It might. That's okay. We'll go with one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just do this, and that's that's that. This is good too. Um, I will play a cunning geyser mage myself, kicked. Uh -huh. So I will gain two life, going up to thirteen, and then I will bounce your. Hmm, what do we want to bounce? We could bounce the Drake. Um to get rid of it. I think I will bounce the Drake just because it's in the air. You have a Drake with tokens on it though, don't you? I have, these are, this is this is two Drakes. Oh, got it. Okay, yeah, two, I'll bounce one of those Drakes, yes. One of, uh, you want, this is this is the untapped Drake. Do you want to do this one? I only have mm -hmm. one Drake token. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, but the Geyser Mage is going to give me problems, but then you're just gonna bounce something. Yeah, I'll bounce that. This one, okay, yep. it's gone. Okay. It is gone forever. Oh. Uh -huh. And then, all right, so that was less exciting than I wanted it to be. But I dealt with a problem, kind of. Yeah, we're just going to trade with this now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... One in the water's fine. Oh, uh, it's so hard to like, I don't want to give up this creature. Um, I will pass turn, well, two in the air coming up next turn. So it's four damage. Four in the air, two drakes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I can't do anything about them, so yeah, I'll pass. Untap. Untap all my drakes. And now, now that I know that you really want that death touch tap. Mm. <laughs> okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more mana now. Okay. I'm going to go to combat first and i'm going to attack you for four in the air with two drakes yep all right you take four go to nine and then i'm going to play a land <laughs> landfall some mana it doesn't really matter i'm gonna play this uh For seven, I'm going to play this Skyclave Sentinel Kicked again. I'm going to get another Drake. I'm going to gain two life, go to 14. All right. And then I am done. Okay. On top? Yep. Draw. Mm -hmm. We'll play a land. I will...
Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Mm -hmm. I, know, I know you have that air elemental thing in your hand. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I will... You have things? I have these things. Did you play a land this turn? I did. Yes, I played okay. an island. All right, so you have a landfall. So that thing's a 6-5. Oh, yes. I do have a 6-5. Thank you. Yep. Um, I will... Uh, go to combat. All and up. I will swing with the cunning geyser mage. Just the actually, wait, wait, mage? hold on, wait. Okay. I'm actually, I'm gonna stay in main phase. Okay, main phase, main phase, main, main phase. phase. Never not, never, never wasn't Ooh. in the main phase. Yep, didn't happen. Um. Actually, right, you, have, no, yeah. you have seven mana. This has to be enough for your evil, terrible plan to kill me in one shot. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna swing with my cunning geyser mage. That's it. Just that yeah. one. Yep. Trick. I'm gonna I'm gonna block with Lotus Cobra. It's it's outlived its usefulness. Okay. Damage. Yep, the guys are made right. swallows it whole. It likes snakes. It eats well, them for breakfast. Um, it bit it on the way down, so that's gone too. All right. Um, then I'm going to one, two, three, four, and then. Hmm. Got it. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going to play my Merfolk Falconer. Okay. Um, and then I will pass turn. Okay. I will untap. I have three drakes. I can attack. Draw. I will. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Colony Ambush. A uh, Tart creature you control fights Tart creature you don't control. I'm going to have my Skyclave Sentinel, which is a 4-5 fight your 4-4 four, four flying creature. Uh, what's yours? A 4-5. Four... 4-5? Four, five. Four, five? Okay. Yep. You got it. Okay. That seemed too easy. Which means that something is, a, something is afoot. Okay, I'm going to go to combat... And I'm going to attack you in the air for ten. Six Ooh. here, four here. You got you got me. Okay. All right. All right. That was game one. Hard fought on both sides, and of course the the blue green landfall slash kicker mirror match. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna check out my deck tech, and then we'll be back in just a moment. What's up, everyone? It's Justin Parnell back again with a deck tech for the Zendikar Rising pre-release party. Now, I'm very excited to return back to Zendikar. It's my personal favorite plane, and there's a lot of new mechanics and some returning ones, all of which I'm making excellent use of in my deck. The first mechanic that I'm featuring heavily is Kicker. Conveniently, I'm playing a blue-green deck, which seems to be the color combination that cares about kicked cards so much, as we have our signpost on 
uncommon Lull Mage Familiar. So every time I kick a card, I'm going to gain two life. And it adds a green or a blue to my mana pool. Now, that's going to be a lot of life because I have no less than uh, 11 kicker cards. Okay? And Justin, you're, you're probably asking me, Justin, well, why do you have so many kicker cards? What is the payoff? Well, obviously, I'm going to gain two life every time I play one of these kicker cards with kicker. Uh, and of course, as you can see, my pre-release foil rare uh, myriad construct here. Uh, but the reason I have so many kicker cards is because I have a pair of what I imagine is going to be one of my favorite uncommons and lim limited uh, Roost of Drakes. I have two of these. So every single time I kick a card, I'm going to get a 2-2 Drake and it has kicker itself, which gives me another Drake when I play it. So I'm going to have Drakes all over the place. Now, kicker is just one mechanic we're going to see in Zendikar Rising. The second, of course, is famously the modal double face cards. And I only have three of these. They're pretty sweet. Uh, spells on the front, lands on the back, which is going to my next theme, of course, which is landfall. Now, I didn't open a huge amount of landfall cards, which is really a shame because landfall is great. Uh, but I did open a couple of good ones. And as you've noticed, I haven't really shown many rares off yet. Uh, the first is your favorite and mine returning to the action, Lotus Cobra. Uh, sweet new art. And Lotus Cobra is a great card. Obviously ramps extremely well when you have a format where you play a ton of lands in uh, and a good little beater. And the only thing better than Lotus Cobra is his friend, also Lotus Cobra, but this time it's a foil showcase version. Uh, this is definitely the sweetest card that I opened. Uh, it is very difficult to show how great this card looks in the showcase version and the foily nature of it, but I promise you it's beautiful. And the last card that I want to show off is a card that I'm going to be casting a ton over the course of the day, so much that I may in fact give Ashlyn PTSD, and that is Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Now, Ashaya, uh, power and toughness, each equal to the number of lands on control. It's going to be a, a bunch. And of course, it makes every single creature I have into a forest in addition to everything else. So I'm going to have a ton of lands, a ton of creatures, and a ton of mana to kick all my spells and make a bunch of drakes. Everyone else, better watch out. No. All right, welcome back to the Star City Games pre-release party sponsored by friends at Wizards of the Coast. Justin Parnell, Ashlyn Rose. Ashlyn, you're down a game. So what's 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 yeah. good? What's good over there? Um yeah, I'm down a game. Uh, but gonna make this one count. Looking at my hand right now, trying to figure out if I want to keep it or not. Uh it's not looking great right now. Uh, trying to decide if I want to go down again. And, uh, yeah. I'm on the draw, so You're I feel like... Draw. You did select to be on the draw. Yes. So I feel like this might be worth keeping. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So greedy. It worked for me last time, so I can't. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm on the play. I'm gonna play Tangled Floral Hedron, but I'm gonna play it as this uh, Tangled Veil. Chat. I do have to put one back down in the bottom, though, so I'm gonna bottom that. All right. Your turn. I will draw and I will play a forest and say go. Draw. I'm going to play an island and I'm going to play the best turn two play Ooh. in the format Lotus Cobra. The special Shiny Cobra. Yep, I'm done. 
All right, I will draw. And then I will play a island and say go. All right, draw. Uh, I will play an island and I will make a green with Lotus Cobra. And then I'm going to play a <laughs> Roost of Drake, just like the first game. So with, good. With Kicker, I'll make a Drake and then I will attack you for two. I will take two. Good at 18. All right, I'm done. All right, end of your turn. I'm going to go ahead and play a uh, Deliberate. Scry right. two, draw. Two. I'm going to bottom top, and then I will draw that. On top, draw. And then I will play a forest. And then I will play a Tarju Blight Breath Blade. You remember that card? I, I, I do. I do. Yeah. So you have the, the power of the Death Touch on your side this time. I do. And I'm going to use it to my advantage. Uh, and then I will say go. Untap Raw. Uh, the First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to attack you for two with just this Drake. I will take. I can't do anything about that. Okay. This is giving me flashbacks to what set also had like had the enchantment that made Drake's that was very annoying. Drake Haven. Drake and yeah. Amon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to play this Colony Ambush, but I'm going to play it as a land. So as Colony Territory. Uh, sugar landfall. I'll make a mana. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna play myriad construct with no kicker. My pre-release, my pre-release promo, myriad constructs. So it's a four-four. If it becomes the target of a spell or ability, I have to sacrifice it and make a one-one colorless construct uh, for equal to its power. So it would be four. But I'm done after that. All right. Um. On top, draw, and you kicked it, or you did not kick it. I did not kick it. Okay. Three. I will play, and I will not play anything yet. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, I will play an island, and then... Okay. So you have two forests, two islands? What is the CMC of the uh, annoying enchantment? <laughs> One. Okay, great. That's cool. <laughs> um, That changes my plan. The construct is four to play. Yes. The construct is four, yeah. Okay. Um, and then whenever it becomes the target of an ability, um, sack it and make little things. Target of a spell, not an ability. Oh, you're right. That is important. Yeah, might, I might, yeah, that might change. Might, might change what you do. Uh, okay. I will pass turn for now. Okay. Untap. Okay, I'm going to play the forest, trigger landfall. I'm going to make a blue. And then I'm going to play a cunning geyser mage kicked. So I'm going to make another Drake. Mm -hmm. And when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to return target creature uh, to its owner's hand. I'm going to choose your little death touch friend. Hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to go to combat and I'm going to attack you for eight. With? With the Myriad Constructs 4-4, four, four, Lotus Cobra's a 2-1, and then the Drake's a 2-2 two, two flyer. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the stream screen. So, like, you hadn't tapped anything yet. So, I was like, what are you swinging with? Oh. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Sorry. That explains it. I was it. like, you know, I was like, look, I, if you want, I can tell you uh, <laughs> Lotus Cobra, one in a green, creature snake. Their names, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, sorry. That delay will uh, get you every time. I really will. I will swing at me for eight. I'm at 16, so that's half my life. Hmm, how do I feel about that? I have strong feelings about that. I will... I'm going to enter the royal. What do I want to target, though, at this point? I feel like the one that's not going... It's either the drake or the cobra. Yeah, because this this will... You won't get to draw yeah. a card if you do that one. Um, I'm going to go with the... The cobra is only two to cast. Two to cast, yeah. The drake won't come back, though. Yeah, true. You probably lose more because you have to. Do you have to do a kicker spell? I have to do a kicker drake? spell to make a drake. Yeah. Um. Oh uh, yeah, let's hit the drake. Drake's gone. You Wait, draw. if I hit the drake, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, do I get to draw if I hit the drake? You get to draw, yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna take six and go to ten. Yep. Okay. All right. It is your turn. Oh. Draw. I will play an I'll play an island. I will play three, four, five. I'll play a Merfolk Falconeer. Nice. And I will pass turn. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna play Forest. Make a blue. I think I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. I'm going to play my own Into the Royal. On your no! Make another Drake. You got it. I'll draw a card, and then I will attack you for two, four, so six, nine, eleven. GG's. GG, good games. Good games, Ashlyn. All right. Good Ash game. All right, so we're going to finish up this match, but Ashlyn is going to be back immediately and hopefully she can carry on uh, our joint blue greenness into the next round when she comes up against Maris Mullally from Wizards of the Coast. We'll be back in just a second.